let's let's talk about this uh, really interesting um, project that you had with regards to funding. And this is the main thing I want to discuss with you. So you actually went about getting 20 million in funding. Maybe you can tell the whole story of why you did this thing and kind of how it's all turned out. Yeah, definitely. So actually, like I can give you the secret of uh, how everything started, or at least like where the, the idea came to my mind. So I was chatting with um, Nathan Latka. Um, yeah. and uh, it was during like a live and uh, and eventually uh, you know he was saying like you guys have a bootstrap company you're growing like super fast your numbers are sexy like there's no need you know for you to raise funds and then I told him like the the only reason I would like to raise funds is to get an article in tech crunch <laughs> just you know like for the fame <laughs> but I was saying you know like kidding and uh, and then he told me like yeah I mean you know you just have to pay a VC 5,000 bucks, uh, ask him to send a term sheet and then you you get in touch with a reporter and say, I have a term sheet from this VC, we'll probably say no, do you want to write an article about it? And then it made me laugh and then I started thinking about it and I'm like, I mean, when you look at fundraising overall, it's very opaque, like you, you don't have any information, you don't know how it goes. And since I started, you know, like documenting a lot on my uh, YouTube channel, and I was posting like tons of tips and tricks on, you know, how to be more productive, how to network, how to do like all these things that an entrepreneur should know how to do. I was like, okay, uh, I've been interviewing like top founders about like fundraising, also like top VCs. And then I was like, okay, let's, let's challenge ourselves and, uh, and challenge ourselves to raise 20 million in, in two weeks. And uh, on top of it, I was like, we know that we're going to say no. And uh, the reason we will say no is to show the world that you don't need to actually raise money to be a successful company and you don't need to raise money to be in hyper growth. Because what I'm kind of like sick of in the media is just, you know, like all the same articles about who has like the biggest fundraising or like round mm -hmm. of fundings. And, and it's all about these numbers. But, you know, in the end, they never talk about the real statistic, which is nine out of 10 companies who raise funds actually fail. So... Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, eventually I wanted to go and start a debate about that, start talking about profitability, employees' happiness, and all these type of things, which for me matter like 10 times more than, uh, than, uh, than the rest of just like a, a round of funding. So we started this and uh, we recorded like an entire pitch. So it was quite stressful. Like it was lots of questions, lots you of questions. You seem stressed. Yeah. 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 I, I was, I was actually, you know, it's like, because, you know, like we, I had my I had my end goal in mind. The end goal was receiving a term sheet so we can say no. And you know, once once your pitch, obviously, like uh, it will it will basically decide for you. You know, if you're gonna get that term sheet or not. But once we received the twenty million dollar like term sheets, because I was like um, I was like really amazed because I announced on Twitter that I was raising like uh, twenty million dollar in public, and then I posted on LinkedIn, and then things got really crazy. Like tons of investors reach out. Like uh, I had like. LinkedIn messages, Messenger, like Facebook, WhatsApp, uh, text message, some even cold call from VC. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and then like uh, once we announced like this offer, it was crazy because people starting like, uh, you know, like uh, getting like to me straight away. And I, I we knew that we, we wouldn't take the offer. So I didn't want, you know, like to, to waste time from investors. So I was sending them like kind replies, very polite saying, you know, like I really value your time. Right now is not the perfect timing for us, but I'll reach out whenever I think the time is right and see if it's yeah. a good fit. And then they were like, some of them were really aggressive, like, yeah, but you know, like, uh, how, how would you know it's a, it's, a, it's a good fit or not if we don't meet? Let's meet like next week. And then they were like giving me like Friday 10 a.m. or uh, at 2 p.m. Yeah. or anytime you yeah. want. Uh, I'm free at evening also. And I was like, oh my God, it's getting really crazy. And um, actually, this is when I discovered like a, a new type of fundings. So essentially, like, um, VCs, so like uh, venture capitals, they, their goal is uh, for you like to, I mean, for them is to invest in the company. So the entire money they give is usually like almost 100% in the company. And if you start doing cash out, meaning like uh, taking money for yourself, it's usually a red flag for them. So in the US, for example, they would say like on the first round, if the founder is taking more than uh, $200,000, it would be a red flag for them because they want you to have uh, still like skin in the game. Which, you know, like can make sense, but also, you know, it's, uh, it's very like VC minded because it's like, yeah, we, we're investing in pretty much like every company, but we want you to just be like super focused on yours. Well, actually yeah. we're making tons of investments. So, you know, you can, we can put that in perspective also. 
And, uh, and eventually, like, uh, the, the offer we got was actually from a private equity fund. For me, from my understanding before, like, this uh, fundraising, like, publicly, private equity was uh, really, like, uh, at a higher level. Like, for me, it was, you know, like, they, they start putting tickets at, like, 100 or 200 million dollars and not like that small but they offered us like a 30 million dollar and what was crazy with that offer it, it was 15 million dollar for the company and 15 million dollar for us so it's just like those three co-founders in the company so Vianney, five Francois, million each yeah five million each and and when you see that you're like oh fuck <laughs> you know like <laughs> i had my message i had my mission i had everything but you're like yeah it's still five million in my pocket like to be honest, like I come from like, uh, you know, like my parents, they didn't do any, like uh, they didn't study. They, they yeah, they, they grew up like in a farm and, you know, it's five million. It's like life changing. So so the first time we received the offer, I was like, OK, first I didn't sleep <laughs> and I was like, OK, fuck. And, and then yeah. I was OK, we need to chat with uh, my co-founders, but also the team and really like uh, what came up. And I think I was. After I slept on it, I was like, for me, my mission, I think, is more important because I, I help a lot of entrepreneurs and I'm really sick of having them coming to me, you know, and they, they haven't launched their product. They haven't talked to their customer, but they're like, hey, Guillaume, I spent like three weeks working on my business plan. Can you have a look at it? Or I've been reaching investors for months. Every time I send them this Excel spreadsheet with my business plan and how I want to grow, uh, they always have the same answer that I need to wait, etc. Like, can you help me out or can you like put me in touch with investors? And I'm like, fuck, like you're wasting such yeah. amount of time on fundraising when you should actually like go out there, meet your clients, uh, bring value, find like a real solution to a problem, like talk to them, like really like be, you know, in the trenches and and then I was like, okay, like it's. A, I think it's a good time for us to just like say no, explain everything, explain why we did it, and uh, and at the same time say, you know, like we're not against fundraising because for some companies it makes sense to to fundraise and and it can be, but we just didn't want, and we were a bit sick also to have like uh, all these people, you know, telling that yeah, when you're bo- when you're bootstrap, it's a uh, like kind kind of like a moms and pops uh, business, you know, it's like. Very yeah. small business. You know, yeah. with the big boys. Yeah, come join yeah. the big boys and have funding. It's like... Yeah, bullshit. exactly. Exactly. It's like, uh, yeah, you know, like, yeah, bootstrap, it's, yeah, it's uh, it's baby league, you know? It's like, yeah, you're not yeah. you're not yet. And, and for me, it's crazy because even in France, we have like all this um, like award and everything that are actually given based on the fundraising and not on your profits, not on your wow. like revenue, not on anything. It's, it's just like some criteria, like you need to raise at least X million dollars. And I'm like, yeah, what the fuck? It's yeah. Can I can I ask you a question about it? I mean, I'm I'd love to dig into that as well and some of the uh, the problems with funding and kind of like the the pros and cons of each. But when you approach this funding exercise, did you actually know from the outset that you were going to say no and you were going to use it as kind of a PR piece? Was was that the plan? Yeah, yeah, that was the goal. Like, cause cause yeah. for me it was um you know like it's simple. Like I I thought about it because I write a lot. I write a lot about our story. I write about like our mistakes, our failures, and also the things that we do right. But, you know, if I if I had written, like, uh, an article saying, like, why you shouldn't fundraise or why, like, fundraising is not equal to success, yeah, it would have been on our blog. People following me would have liked it. But it doesn't make an impact. Uh, it doesn't, like, change pretty much anything. And I was like, okay, if you want to get noticed, you need to do things differently. You need, you need to do things that you shouldn't do in the first place, like, according to everyone else. Yeah. And in the end, that's what entrepreneurs do, you know, like they do things differently. And, and for me, it was great to show that you can be different, you can inspire more people, and we can start a debate.